Hello YouTube, Mr. Bean here, and welcome to another installment on my P90 tutorial. So, there are some stuff I forgot to cover in the last video. So, after you've attached it all, this is sort of like a check to see if everything's in working order, I guess. So, this should be able to move back and forth pretty freely, and it should slingshot back if you only pull out a little bit. But, if you go all the way back, pass the trigger and push that thing, it should move very smoothly. When you let it back, it should get stuck on the trigger like that. This little spacer in there, that should get stuck on the trigger. Push it forward, it should stay on the trigger. And when you push the trigger, it'll leave. And this piece here doesn't have an elastic, so just push it back. And also, hold this piece in right here. You can already, you can put these pieces on here. I already did it in a failed attempt before, but just, just put them on right there. For your mag release. So that's basically all I had to show you. Now we're going to get onto the bridge or whatever it's called. I'm calling it the bridge. But it's basically just the iron sights. So I'm kind of going to make like the frame here. I'm pretty sure this is 13 holes, 14 studs long. Uh, you got a four stud piece here, another piece of the same size, so a 14 stud piece. And I'm pretty sure this here. Is a 15 stud piece on top, or no, 16 stud piece. 15 holes, 3, 13, 13. So, yeah, and there's going to be lots of pins that I need to put through it, so you got to pay attention to where I put them or else I'll get all screwed up. So I'm just going to grab a handful. There we go. Now you need to put them, now you need to flip this around. Put them where I put them. Because I'm trying to save my voice for later tutorials. Because I don't have that many left. I've literally just got like the left wall. And the uh, like just a little plate that will cover the back of the gun. But that'll be easy. Uh, what did I do? What did I do wrong? I see what I did wrong. I'm gonna be two spaces here. Yeah, the only problem with doing these live is that you can't really fix your mistakes with video editing very well. Especially since I don't have any video editing software. I've got a friend, Split SK. Or I am split SK. He is a very good knifer in Call of Duty. Go sub to him. I forgot to put his uh, link in the description on my kill race. And I'm a lazy ass, so I haven't even put it in there. So I feel crappy now. And a, like a bad friend. So, whatever. Go sub to his channel right now. He needs to get to 100 subscribers. So, take an 8 stud long beam here, uh, 6 stud long with holes, 2 stud long with a hole, a 4 stud long piece with holes, and you need to make 2 of those. You need to double uh, both like the plates that I'm making here, because this is kind of like the armor plating, sort of like on the handle. It's basically the exact same thing, so you gotta make 2 of those. Now you gotta grab, oh god, yeah, you gotta grab two more sixes, uh, you gotta put these fours on top, and then you need to put a one right there, and there, you should have two that look exactly the same, and then just go and put two of these on. And they need to have holes. All the ones here need to have holes. So you can take this piece, just let this stuff load. Yeah, there we go. So we'll turn it around here. Or no, let's not turn it around, but take this piece, 
and oh crappers. How does this go on here? Okay, yeah, this piece it will go on right here like that. And then this one will go on here like this. Yeah, that's how it goes. So you can just put on the other ones now too. Might as well. There we go. So you basically just have a big block right now. Um, let's hold it. The, let's see here. I'm going to try and hold it the way that my pictures are facing. It'll make it easier for me. So let's hold it this way. We're going to put a five stud long beam on the back. Flip it back over here. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. You need a seven stud long axle. One of these connectors. Let's put it through here. Take a nine stud long beam. Put that through it. And now you can put it through this five here. Now you need to take two of these pieces and put them on here you have to make sure that that little connector and these things are facing the same way because if, I mean, like, if this was sticking down here like that then the mag wouldn't be able to go in it has to be like this okay so or it could be facing the other way if you prefer it, but like this. But it just has to be parallel. Or not parallel. I don't know. Just keep it flat. Keep it flat. Or else it'll all get screwed up. So now we can take this piece here. Um and we're going to put some pins through it. Got two of these large pins and a three stud long pin. Now we're going to take a seven stud beam, put it there, and just push it on like that. Okay, what piece is that? I see. Alright. Now we need one of these pieces and two of those long Technic pins. I'm going to put them through here. Like that. Now we're going to put a three stud pin. No. No. Take two five stud long axles. Put one through here. It's got to be centered like that. Now you need to take oh man, these pictures. I took some really bad pictures. Um let's see here. Yep, whatever. I guess there's no spacer. So you just take this piece and it's gonna be sticking about like one stud through. Um take this guy and just attach it on here like that. Then you'll just put the other one on the other side. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Just like that. Now, is this even facing the right way? No, it's not. Damn. Um, take this whole thing off. Like this whole little assembly here. Flip this back around. I had it all facing the wrong way, which sucks. So if we just flip it back around. Put this back on like that. And now, I'm gonna take two of these pieces. A three stud pin, 
actually two three stud axles. I'm kind of hurrying here because I don't know how much time I have left with my limited memory on my phone. Um, take two big pins, put them through there, and attach it to the end of there. And now, take one of these pieces, uh, turn this around to the back, and just attach that, just attach it all together. Just like that. Now you can take a three stud axle and put it through there, and it'll attach to that green piece. Um, take two black pins, put one in here, take your other green piece, put it on this side, put a black pin there, take this red, no not red, this five stud beam, put it there, take this nine, nope, take this seven, put it there, take this nine, put it here, Put this piece on in here, and now you need two spacers and two of these pieces. Now you're gonna put, now you're gonna like take it, put it through there, put on the spacer, and do the same thing with the other one, except opposite. like that. Take two of these pieces, and this is what I was talking about with the different pieces in the first part of the tutorial, like the very first part on the handle. This one only has two holes there, and it needs to be like that, so. Um, damn it, how does this go on? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, it just goes on here like this. Just like that. Now let's get onto the iron sights because they're actually really easy. So we're going to take this beard connector and just put it on two of these pieces. And there we have our front sight which will go right here. And now the back sight is a little bit more complex. Take another one of those pieces, a three stud axle. Uh, one of these strange connectors. Put it in there. Put on this one. A two stud axle. A Technic hand thing. Put it there. And then just take two normal two stud pieces. And put them on there. And now you got your front sights and you finish this thing. So you can take this and it will fit right into these holes on that. I hope it does. Okay, yeah, that was flipped around. It's supposed to be like that. So yeah, they all should just, they should just fit in there like that. Then on this side here, got this piece with the blue stud that just attaches onto there like that. Perfect. And if you want, just for the time being, you can take this one off because it's kind of floppy and it gets in the way of like your mechanism and stuff. But yeah, just keep these handy. Okay. Oh god, my tripod is getting all weird on me. But yeah. That's, we're close, we just have the wall and a little piece that goes on top of the gun. So, that's been it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Bean out.